Today, I'm beating Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom at the exact same time. I have one controller that's connected to both games, so when I press a button in Breath of the Wild, that same button is pressed in Tears of the Kingdom. Not only that, but I have to face and beat both final bosses at the same time too, if that's even possible. Okay, here we go. Let's start both games at the same time. Nintendo presents. Nintendo also presents. <laughs> Breath of the Tears of the Kingdom. This is gonna be so chaotic, dude. All right, we'll see how this works. Been for a while now. Wake up. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. <laughs> We've been descending for a while. Wake up. Oh, oh, dear God. Okay, I'm controlling both at the same time now. Okay, I need to make my way here. Okay, in the cutscene. And then now I'll get the Shrine of Resurrection at the... Oh my God, my brain's gonna hurt. I'm overstimulated right now. <laughs> Kingdom the kingdom of hyrule. of hyrule look wait that's actually such grid timing i love that it's the old man the demon king incredible <laughs> Incredible! this is a huge discovery it's a great discovery you know what else is a great discovery the subscribe button S uh subscribe that was a good one right maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead oh it's zelda as well link let's keep moving deep. did they just say link at the same time what kind of matrix is this you know hello hi cannon <laughs> okay jesus he's so angry about opening the map i'm sorry dude my bad oh wait that's so cool we're about to get the cutscene uh sync with us looking at the castle and this is happening link he knows zelda's there wait that timing is amazing look at that both calamities happening at once the both fade to black all right guys you ready to play tears of the kingdom and breath of the wild now we have control of both oh wait, wait this is a terrible dilemma so in Tears of the Kingdom, I need to get the Master Sword by walking forward. But clearly in Breath of the Wild, that's off of a cliff. I have an idea. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. And then fall damage cancel. Oh, he's too good at it. Okay, hey, you don't have to make that noise though. <laughs> We're gonna have to be doing that constantly. Cause what I wanna do chat is I wanna face off against the uh, final bosses at the same time. And I think the way we do that is prioritizing Tears of the Kingdom. Cause I'm good at Breath of the Wild. Tears of the Kingdom is a little different though. But Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom have similar structures. And before we get to the open world of it all, we need to complete each of the four shrines simultaneously in both games, which might be harder than I thought. I'll go this way and then, oh, I need to get to Magnesis though. Okay, um, I'll just do this while I'm climbing. Oh, wait, that's actually like important. So like if Link in Tears of the Kingdom starts climbing, I can run with Breath of the Wild. It's like normalizing the movement here. All right, so let's grab this right here and then we can continue on with Tears. Wait, watch this, watch this. A on both. Oh, that's so sick. <laughs> Dude, the sinks in this game are gonna be crazy. Please put Subway Surfer maybe in the middle. Helps maintain <laughs> attention. How's this, guys? Is this good? Is this enough stimulation for you guys now? I vote for green screen bean bag chair Minecraft parkour. Okay, how's this? <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. All right, we're going to complete the uh, Breath of the Wild first shrine here. So that's great. All right, we're almost in the Temple of Time for Tears of the Kingdom now. Is this enough stimulation for you guys, though? Please blue screen your door and put carpet cleaning. I'll do soap cutting. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good. It's good. It's good. How about some Reddit? Am I the whole? <laughs> that's what you guys are for, right? You guys are the, the TTS that reads it out. Okay, uh, so we got the cutscene with Raru. I'll head over to the bombs right now. I, 100 million M, want to come back to take over Hyrule, but Link, 125 M, is harshing my vibe. <laughs> A-I-T-A? <laughs> I don't know, chat. Are they the asshole or not? Wait, so if I press L here, I just put a bomb down. <laughs> okay, I need to be very careful here. Okay, I'm gonna go across here and then... Blow that up. Okay, great. Hey, look, we have uh, both of them completing a shrine at the same time. Look at that. It's beautiful. <laughs> what? Oh, my dear God. The prophecy is fulfilled. So we have two shrines in Breath of the Wild. We have one shrine in Tears of the Kingdom out of four. So I need to catch up on Tears, especially since Tears is a longer game. Am I the a-hole for getting a house away from my girlfriend? I, M120, helped my boss and girlfriend, F118, get away from an abusive living situation a few years ago. She moved into my house, but made me get rid of my spirit motorcycle. I found a secret room she made in my well. She disappeared again a few weeks ago and built a new house without her. I like having my own space, but I feel guilty. Am I in the wrong? It's a good question. It's a good question, Chatter. Okay, I'm going to focus on getting the second shrine here. As long as I don't fall over. Okay, we'll get the shrine and then with Breath of the Wild, like, we'll head towards Stasis. Anyways, thank you guys for playing Am I the Asshole? I'm so glad that you guys could be the arbiters of deciding who is the asshole and who is not the asshole. Oh my God, if I shoot an arrow in one game, I'm going to shoot an arrow in another game. 
That kind of sucks. <laughs> Okay, I, this is very precarious. I need to fight this guy and then get away from the cliff in Breath of the Wild so I don't die with Breath of the Wild. I love how Breath of the Wild Link is fighting like a phantom. Quarter health. Nice, got him. Go team. This is crazy, dude. Okay, we just beat two shrines in Tears of the Kingdom and we're about to get into the stasis shrine with Breath of the Wild. Okay. <laughs> So tears should fall down and breath wall should be good. Okay, awesome. Let's go, dude. Instead of subway surface, can you show a fish beating an Elden Ring boss? Here, I can put Tortellini on. All right, there we go. That'll replace the subway surface. All right, so we got the third shrine with Breath of the Wild. Tears of the Kingdom, we need to head to Ascend. All right, let me do this. Press A to come down. All right, perfect. Look at that. Look at that Breath of the Wild stuff. So I made sure that we didn't die. I turned us around. Oh, that was so sick. Okay, so Ascend. We'll go this way. For Breath of the Wild, I'm going to get to the Cryona Shrine while we do Ascend. I think that's a good idea. This setup would be a really good way to compare the differences between the two games. I think that's a great idea. Like, we should go to the same spot in both games and start playing. All right, let me go talk to the old man. Okay, and then uh, you're going to give me the Warm Duble. Nice. Okay, so we just got into cryonis the fourth shrine for breath of the wild we just completed the third shrine for tears of the kingdom now to the temple of time and then while that's happening i can complete cryonis nice double cutscene. i gotta I get a break finally this is actually going like so much better than i thought it would let's do this nice the last shrine in tears of the kingdom is complete and let's go get the paraglider in breath of the wild uh yes both fathers okay we're pretty synced right now this is great i'll save your daughter king rome boss for almost hyrule she's right there <laughs> Am I the furry for thinking Raru's hot? Yes. Link. Link. You must save Hyrule. The sinking on this is crazy. <laughs> All right, well, we've completed the Great Sky Island and the Great Plateau. The first order of business here, I think, is for Tears of the Kingdom, we want to get the paraglider. All right, do a flip. I just need to make sure Tears doesn't die. Nice. Dude, I... Ugh. Breath of the Wild just encountering so many guardians. That's fine. Like, I can deal with it. It just sucks. I'm still trying to play Tears of the Kingdom like midway through. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, my shield broke. Damn it. All right, well, I can't do anything here. Rest in peace, Breath of the Wild, Link. Rest in peace. Go! Oh, okay, nice. We got the paraglider in Tears of the Kingdom. Let's get the uh, tower in Breath of the Wild. Oh, wait, we got the same tower cutscenes. <laughs> Wait, this is such great pacing. <laughs> okay, uh, I will have Tears of the Kingdom Link head towards where Breath of the Wild is. If you put them in the same place, are you linking them together? <laughs> I mean, you know what? I Yeah, I guess so. Oh, I died. Okay, well, I guess he's desynced then. Delinked, decoupled, one of those. Somehow throughout all of this, we managed to beat the tutorial of the game with several deaths and struggles. But if I die in the final boss battle in one of the games, we have to start the whole battle over. So before we go to beat Ganon, we need to collect three pieces of the Phantom Armor, which not only gives us 24 defense, but also a tier three attack boost. The only problem is that the pieces are in completely different places in each game. I'm going to go to the Skyview Tower in tiers. And then for Breath of the Wild, I'm going to head over and grab the first piece of Phantom Armor, which is this way. Okay, we got this. Okay, nice. There's literally a guardian outside for Breath of the Wild, and I need to make sure I don't die from fall damage in tears. Okay, we're good. So let me grab this. There it is. Okay. So uh, in Breath of the Wild, we got the first piece of the Phantom Armor. Nice, dude. And then we should probably start heading over to the Colosseum in Breath of the Wild as well. Actually, no, I want to get auto build in uh, tears. So let me do that. There's a lot of things that we can do with auto build, but particularly the main thing is that we're going to be able to make a hover bike to be able to traverse anywhere really fast. Okay, nice. All right, so now, oh, wait, 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 wait. We have the opportunity to do a perfect sync. Okay, here we go. As of right now, we are literally synced with Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom at the exact same time with the exact same angle. We're now linked. This is so cool. Just two badly damaged shields, two links, and a dream. Also, they're already desynced. So that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, let's go down to the depths in Tears. Oh, you know what I can do in, in Breath of the Wild? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Yo, oh my god, we wind bomb. That's crazy, dude. That's so nuts. Oh, that's so annoying with the L's. <laughs> I needed to get the horse, okay? I'm oh, sorry. Love the Breath of the Wild horse cinematic. We're just going for a walk, you know? All right, auto build in Tears of the Kingdom. Now we can head out and go nab the second piece of Phantom Armor in Breath of the Wild. And then, so let's go to the surface back. I need to get a steering stick. So let's get a steering stick. Oh, no! 
Damn it, I traveled in Breath of the Wild as well. That sucks. Oh, because technically it's the same thing as the Great Skyland and Plateau. All right, let's go this way. I'm looking at tiers right now. I'm trying to get to a, the nearby steering stick. I okay, exit here and then... Oh, I killed the keys in Breath of the Wild. Oh my God, that was so cool. What the hell? All right, so we have uh, enough staring sticks and fans now. And then in Breath of the Wild, we'll get this uh, second piece of phantom armor. All right, there we go. Uh, there's the phantom armor for Ganon and everything. And then uh, Tears of the Kingdom, we're going to build something with Ultra Hand. All right, here we go. Let's attach this right here. And so we have a hover bike. Nice, first try. All right, let me dupe some stuff in Tears real quick. What? <laughs> I was duping items in Tears of the Kingdom. And then out of nowhere, we get a Korok. Alrighty, for Breath of the Wild, we're gonna finish off getting the last piece of Phantom Armor. Nice! Now in Breath of the Wild, we have the full Phantom Armor. Look at that. Unfortunately, we have none of it yet in Tears of the Kingdom. So uh, we're gonna nab that right now. All right, so the first piece of Phantom Armor should be down into here. All right, here we go. Oh, yes, Gloom Hands. All right, I'm gonna go around the long way. Fine. And there's... I hate these guys so much. <laughs> All right, this might be the stupidest thing that I'm going to do in this entire playthrough. But I'm going to let build a uh, hover bike, like right here, just to get across. All right, here we go. First uh, phantom armor. We're going to get the second piece down here next. Look at us go, dude. We're killing it out here. All right, I'll go in Breath of the Wild. I'm trying to aim towards Satori Mountain here because that's where we can get like some hearty food. And then I'm going to get the last piece of phantom armor while we're walking to Satori Mountain in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. The Phantom Armor. Both games now are synced up again, and they both have the Phantom Armor. Uh, they both give uh, 24 defense and times three attack up, which is huge. And we'll need that for the end of the game. But the end of the game is so much harder than you think. And even more difficult when I'm looking at two games at once. There is good news though. There's one small thing that we can do to make this challenge exponentially better. And weirdly enough, that's to have this video sponsored by Pokemon. I'm not joking, it is. Do me a favor and go to the Nintendo eShop, purchase a copy of Pokemon Scarlet or Violet, become an Academy Ace by finishing the three paths in the game and take on the Academy Ace tournament so that you can use the code get your Mew with a zero instead of an O to unlock the legendary Pokemon Mew. Okay, so here's the challenge plan. I've played a ton of Breath of the Wild, so the goal is to get yellow hearts, defense up food, and fairies, so that it can tank hits and I can pay attention to it less. In Tears of the Kingdom, we'll get royal weapons, some gloom food, and some fuse attachments in order to be hyper aggressive, since that's the harder game to beat. Just like you'll have to be hyper aggressive on September 1st against the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo and Scarlet and Violet's extremely special seven star raid event. It runs until September 17th and is one of several seven star terror raids happening during the rest of the year. So, while we're finishing up these items to prep for the final boss in Zelda, I'll add a Terra Raid battle here so you can see how insane these battles can be. Get your Mew with the code on screen. Good luck with the Terra Raid against me too. And let's finish this challenge. Okay, let's bless here in Breath of the Wild and uh, make it to the castle. Meow. <laughs> Wait, look at look at Tears. <laughs> here we go. Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild. We're going to beat both bosses at the same time. So we have times three defense up for both save files. We have times three attack up for both save files. And we have the best weapons that we can do. Okay, here we go. Both at the same time. Here it is. This is going to be really difficult. So I'm going to speed through the uh, army fight here. Nice. We're going to do some damage on uh, Windblade as well. Don't get me wrong. I want to keep these somewhat even still. Nice. Okay. Second phase. Got the little Zalpos here. Okay. Looking at Breath of the Wild, trying to kill some Wind Blight right here while dodging uh, the Tears Lizalfos. There we go. Nice. It's like, I got to make sure I don't fall off the map for uh, Tears while I do Breath of the Wild stuff, you know? Okay, nice. All right. Oh, okay. We got the Give this next. Nice. That was huge. Do some more damage on wind Water Blight. Second phase, Water Blight. Nice. And then last Gibdo. Perfect. All right. Uh, water Blight over here. It's fine. Nice. Okay, we got Water Blight. Perfect. Uh, and last Moblin. Okay, great, 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 great. Here we go. We're stuck in the auto build menu, which is great. That's huge. And one more hit for Fire Blight. Nice. Okay, Fire Blight's gone. Okay, now Thunder Blight. Okay. Uh, and now I'm actually going to run. There's this crazy thing that happens. If you go to this part of the fight, Thunder Blight should despawn and not reappear. Awesome. So what we can do now is we need to zuggle so we can clip through the boss fight and then go to Demon King immediately. I use this so we don't have to fight the six bosses in a row for Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, we should be zuggled. So I'm going to head up this way. 
Nice! We clipped in. Perfect. Now all I need to do is beat Thunder Blight Ganon. And then we can do Demon King and Calamity Ganon at the same time. Here we go. Nice! All right, we got Thunder Blight. All right, let's go to Demon King. Calamity Ganon, Demon King. Let's do it. So we're going to be uh, doing the first half of Calamity Ganon here while we're in the cutscene for Demon King. Here we go. Nice. Okay. Okay, here we go. Both fights at once. I got to keep uh, my eye on mainly... Oh, wow. We just literally did all of Demon King Ganondorf's health in like a second. We're so powerful. Nice. All right. First phase, Demon King gone. I don't take too much damage from Calamity, so I should focus less on Calamity. I should focus more on Demon King, I think. Nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I should do that. <laughs> Let me do this. Uh, Calamity should be second phase now. Okay. They're both second phase. Here we go. Oh, I can even do that. Oh, I need to be... Okay, I need to beat Demon King here. Like, really badly. Nice! Got the Flurry Rush. Perfect. Oh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Tears has a quarter heart. Okay, nice. We got Demon King done. Okay, now just Calamity. Why am I doing so little damage? I feel like I'm doing literally no damage to Calamity for some reason. Hey, Calamity's harder than uh, Demon King. You're here first. And Calamity... Okay, Calamity's down. Perfect. You know what would be so sick? If we did the Dark Beast Eye and the Demon Dragon Stone at the same time. I'm going to focus on uh, Breath of the Wild for Dark Beast right now. There we go. We got it. Okay. The next Demon Dragon uh, cycle, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit with. All right. I just need to make it over here. All right. Uh, nice. Okay. Uh, let's get my horse back. Where's my horse? Wait, can I hit it? Oh, I got him. Okay. Nice. 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 Okay. Wait. Okay. Here we go. I want to time it. Okay. Here we go. Nice. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's not done yet. There's just one last thing we got to do here. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, <laughs> I didn't time it. No. Are you kidding me? Here it is. Awesome. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. Let's go. We beat Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild at the same time. God, dude. Almost perfectly timed. It was close enough, though. It was close enough. Hey, did you guys uh, enjoy my Minecraft parkour let's play? This is great.